Fowler, make some noise. We booked a show before we even had enough songs to play the show. We didn't have a name, but we agreed to be on the bill, so we kind of threw around a couple different things. We decided on the word color. That was a word that we wanted to use because it just represented to us, you know, youthfulness and creativity, um, and it had kind of a nostalgic vibe. Just kind of found another cool word, uh, Nevada. It's like, oh, why don't we just make the name Nevada Color? In the summer of 2013, we did a 10-day tour of like the Northeast. The year after that, we ended up doing a 30-day tour of like the Northeast and Midwest and went as far out as like Chicago. It was good to get to cram five guys in like the back of a Ford truck with a trailer hitched to the back. Person in the middle is then the pillow for the two people on either side falling asleep on you. And after 30 days of that, we still love each other, you know, we still get along and we live together. And that's, that doesn't seem to get on anyone's nerves either. We're with each other all the time, which is great. You would think maybe it would not be so great. And there's definitely a certain dynamic that, that comes along with, you know, having all these friends together and close friends. Guys, I got sensitive blue eyes. The way I usually describe our music to people is upbeat, indie pop rock kind of stuff. Just to put a smile on your face and make you tap your foot a little bit. We like to have people dancing, something that people can just sing along to, uh, and something that they'll remember. They really love the feel of the song. You know, we wear black and white at our shows that our name's Nevada Color, so we try to make up for the black and white part with our, our sound, our feel, very colorful very energetic. And when I'm writing, I, I try to really focus lyrically on, on things that I believe in, just trying to make it as honest as possible, write about what I know. Where we're at right now with our careers, uh, we signed a record deal in the past year, but I think that there's a certain perception that bands have before they get to that point, where once that kind of all happens, you think, all right, now we've made it, and now everything's gonna start really happening for us. And we quickly realize that that's not the case at all. You know, it's, if anything, you have to work a lot harder. So Spotlight, I wrote sort of about that situation that we're in now, where perception is kind of everything. 